More than 20,000 cases of the coronavirus in Maryland. We know 929 people have died. Both hospitalizations and a number of people in the ICU have also gone up. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Now, this comes as the latest tally from Johns Hopkins shows that across the U.S., we have now surpassed 1 million cases. And right here in Maryland, issues connected to the pandemic, they continue from unemployment to nursing home concerns. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, he is live. He has more on the most serious problems people are facing. Mike? Denise and Rick, we continue to hear nightmare stories from people trying to get online with the state's new unemployment system and waiting for hours. Also, Maryland has yet to provide detailed case information on nursing homes. And we talked to one woman who's worried about her grandmother and what's really going on in her nursing home. When I spoke to her yesterday, um, she was not feeling well. Jennifer Holmes is worried about her 85-year-old grandmother, Jeanette Johnson, who was just diagnosed with COVID-19. She's a resident at Future Care Cherrywood in Reisterstown. I was a little panicked, um, and then when I answered the call, you know, they let me know it wasn't an emergency, um, and they explained to me that they had gone through and done a mass testing and that my grandmother had tested positive. Holmes says the difficulties she's had getting information are a prime example of why the state needs to start providing detailed data on nursing homes, something the governor promises will start this week. Just getting any answers is, is not easy. We need to know, especially in nursing homes, um, you know, you're dealing with the elderly and, and that's affecting them far more than it is, you know, younger people. So it's important to know what's going on. Other states already provide case by case information on nursing homes and Baltimore City just started releasing overall nursing home case numbers. Maryland's largest outbreaks have been inside long term care facilities. She's 85 and she already has underlying conditions. This, this is not good. It comes as Maryland passes 20,000 cases. Hospitalizations are up by 15 patients, but stable. Corrections officials report the death of a second inmate in the state, a man in his 60s with underlying health conditions at the Jessup Correctional Institution. 157 officers in the prison system have tested positive as COVID-19 hits first responders hard. An Anne Arundel County Police Lieutenant describes his battle with the illness. I had pneumonia in both lungs, the right actually being worse than the left, and I was tested positive for COVID-19. I then spent seven days in the hospital, including two in the ICU unit before I had my recovery. And that lieutenant is now back at work. He says he couldn't have gotten through all this without the support of the community and fellow police officers who even provided food to his family while he was in quarantine. Reporting live in Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.